Hello guys, this is Param here and welcome to the stage 2 of this special video tutorial series wherein I guide publishers like you eventually become GAM resellers. Now in this stage 2, I'll help you in getting approved with Google AdSense. Now this is a relatively easy task provided you have quality content. Also, in this particular video tutorial, I'll be creating an AdSense account live in front of you and share with you the best tips essential for AdSense approval. Before proceeding, I assume that you have already planned your content and you have watched my last video tutorial. If you haven't, I strongly recommend that you watch my last video tutorial because in my last video tutorial, I help you, you know, on actually creating quality content. So I help you decide on what content you should create followed by how do you approach and creating that content. In what content I've also covered like, you know, deciding your niche and doing a keyword research on, uh, you know, using free tools completely. And in planning your content, I have also mentioned to you approaches like, you know, you can use AI based content, you can use user generated content, and you can also use API based content. So here we are not solely talking about, you know, uh, just copy pasting articles here and there. We are actually talking about creating quality content. Now, before getting started, one important thing for you to notice don't go in and buy for AdSense approval guys because if you are at a stage wherein you have to buy for AdSense approvals I'll strongly recommend that you know you don't go for it because if you cannot organically uh, you know get yourself approved with AdSense you are unlikely to make any money with buying any AdSense approval also when you buy accounts with AdSense approval most likely you get you know uh, you encountered policy issues at a later stage so please avoid that because uh, you know that's again a problem while getting yourself approved with google adsense with that said let's get started with creating your google adsense account now to get started with creating your adsense account we'll create a separate chrome profile now uh, guys it's very important to do this because you know if you have multiple google accounts logged in within the same session google actually gets confused because you can only have one adsense account per uh, you know email so you'll have to create a new chrome profile and you'll also have to create a new email now i am doing this and you can do the same signing in here creating a new account it's for my personal use so guys now my you know new chrome profile is set up with a new email and I didn't want it to, you know, bore you with all those details. So I just, you know, skipped forward and continue to set up this new email. Now we'll continue to set up your Google AdSense account. To get started with creating an AdSense account, you can simply Google create an AdSense account and you can log in into, you know, this first help center article. Now, this is the URL you're typically looking for. So, you know, you can navigate directly towards it or follow along with me. Now you can simply click on get started. Choose in the newly uh, you know created email. So this is a very important thing that I've mentioned. Choose this new email. Now provide in your site details. Now I will actually provide in my site. So just validating if it's all correct. Okay. Yeah. Get more out of AdSense. Uh, so this is just I can just opt in for no. Your payment and country details I am selecting in India right now and you know I'm accepting this terms and conditions and I'll click on start using AdSense and that's it guys this is how much easy it is to actually you know get started with creating your AdSense account now let's now proceed to set up your AdSense account and connect it to your site so there are two things that you know need the setup one is your site and another is your payments profile payments profile you can set up after your site has been uh, you know connected to this particular adsense account with that said simply navigate towards the site tab and open in the site now again there are three things that you need to set up Firstly is your adsense code snippet I'll quickly explain to you what it exactly does now it is actually connecting this particular publisher account to your site and with this Google actually knows which AdSense account ads it should actually serve on your website. 
also once you place this adsense code on your website google will actually crawl your website and will be able to check whether your site is eligible for google adsense or not now another thing that you need to implement is your ads.txt file now this is again a recent uh, like transparency initiative not that much recent it's again like three to four years back it was launched in so within this initiative you actually provide the list of SSPs and ad networks that are eligible to serve on your site. So if you do not have a entry added in for a particular network that is like Google with this particular publisher ID, it will not be allowed to serve on your site. So this is something of utmost importance and you know ads.txt is very important to implement or else your ads won't serve. So sometimes you know you see issues wherein your like ads, uh, your, your match requests reduced all of a sudden or there's a sudden drop of coverage that becomes zero then most likely one of the things that might be missing is your ads.txt entry lastly you'll also have to place your meta tag in here it's just providing your website details of your adsense account so in this meta tag you're providing name google adsense inside the con content you are providing the publisher id now we have to implement these three things in your uh, you know WordPress account now simply you'll go back and navigate towards your WordPress admin and we'll do this via a plugin now you can do this directly as well but I recommend that you use a plugin because implementing ads.txt otherwise might be a little bit challenging for you now firstly we need to implement the code that is needs to go inside the head section so you can click on the settings tab provide in uh, go into the header tab and provide in the code in here and simply click on save that is how easy it is second thing regarding the ads.txt entry you can come in here check this ads.txt option click on edit and provide in the ads.txt file entry click on save save settings now let's quickly validate whether ads.txt file is actually seen so you have to simply check yeah we see our latest ads.txt entry of this particular publisher id so it's been implemented correctly one last thing is the meta tag so i'm copying in the meta tag and i am implementing it again inside the head so you can implement it before the script Basically, this needs to be implemented very much ahead in HTML, but we'll be able to implement it earlier inside the head. Simply click on save and we have actually implemented, uh, you know, uh, our AdSense account in WordPress. Right now, what I'll do is I'll also implement the AdSense account in my LCNF website. Now, this is a website that exists in the local web environment. What I'll do is I'll implement it inside the actual, you know, hosted web environment for my site. Now, to implement this actually inside my site, what I'm actually doing is I am opening the GoDaddy hosting. I do not have a WordPress plan for this particular site. It is using the by default GoDaddy theme. So, what I'll do is I'll simply click on manage in here. Okay, let's copy the code from in here. Click on edit website. Okay, navigate towards settings. This is an option to implement Google AdSense and I am actually implementing it here. Now there's also an option to actually implement the ads.txt file in here. So I will copy paste the ads.txt file and I would place it in here. Now this is something I am actually publishing. We might have to wait in a little while this is publishing. Okay, so this is published now and I can, you know, implement the meta tag as well. So going back to the settings again and, you know, there isn't an option to implement the Google AdSense meta tag. So I'm implementing it 
in the you know the facebook option okay so this doesn't actually allow me to do that so meta tag is something you can skip as well no need to get concerned about that it is not a mandatory thing that you need to implement however if you are able to do it it is an additional thing that is telling your website about your google uh, you know adsense publisher id now we have published the changes in our website and we can go back to the adsense account now before navigating to the adsense account let's quickly check if our publisher id is actually in the site source code so this is actually verifying that uh, our adsense code has been placed on the site let's also verify whether the ads.txt is seen yeah we are also seeing the ads.txt so guys we are all set however there's one last thing that you need to configure that is you'll need to go back to your adsense account and tell them that i have placed everything i've placed uh, you know the code and i am actually asking them to verify our site okay so they have been able to verify my site's ownership the next thing is i am requesting for a review this site has been requested for review to google and we'll uh, get to know its status in a while so this might take some time one important thing to notice you'll only be able to set up your google ad manager once your adsense is fully approved so you know if you need to expedite the process of setting up your ad manager account you can request for a google ad exchange ma or mi approval from a reseller and then you'll be able to get your gam account even though your adsense isn't approved but i strongly recommend that you go along the you know the mentioned path and you firstly get your adsense approved and then proceed towards setting up your google ad manager account in this particular section we'll be going over some common policy violations that publishers get stuck with starting with low value content now with low value content it simply implies that your content isn't adding any significant value to the users so you know guys why do you encounter this policy issue uh, basically you're prioritizing monetization over uh, the content over the user so yeah everybody knows that you want to earn money but you should add value to the users and then in long term you would be able to earn money now for doing that you have to create sustainable quality content for your users and i also have created a detailed video tutorial in stage 1 around that so kindly watch it also i'll recommend that you ensure that you are uploading at least like 25 to 30 articles and some of these articles should be long form articles like they should be at least 500 to 1000 words so if you are doing that you are unlikely to encounter this low value content warning now moving to the second warning that is unique content now as the name applies you are simply you know copy pasting content from other sources and you your content isn't unique across the web now i'm not uh, you know saying you that your content should be unique unique but if uh, like even if you are actually like copying the content from certain resources you should add in your own commentary to that particular content and in initial stages wherein you are sending your site for adsense approval i would also recommend that you know you 100% aim for unique content on your website and avoid copy pasting content altogether so if you do that you won't encounter this particular policy violation now thirdly we have replicated content now what do we mean by that you are simply uh, you know internally copy pasting the content so some things that you have mentioned in page 1 of your website or article 1 you are repeating it in article 30th of your website if you are doing that in the initial stages while you are not approved with google adsense again your site won't be approved with google adsense after that comes your navigation your navigation should be structured and users should be easily be able to navigate from one section to another so if you have a simple menu bar that actually 
you know structures the content on your website and users are easily able to navigate across it you will not encounter this particular warning now some other policy issues uh, involving the quality of content includes the grammatical accuracy of your content so again if you have a lot of grammatical mistakes in your content you know this again your uh, this warning again comes inside low value content but i wanted to add it specifically in here so i don't miss stating this point to you please avoid making grammatical mistakes kindly use the plugin if you you know english is not your native language kindly use grammarly or any sort of pl a plugin and proofread your content lastly you'll have to adhere to the program policies and what i'll do is i'll share you the link of the adsense help center article this is the help center article i was talking about so it lays down the google publisher policies and i'll share its link below in the description for you so it's very important that you read it carefully and it lays down the content behavioral video privacy related and other requirements and standard for google publisher policies i'll briefly skim over these so you know you're aware so you should not have any illegal content on your website so that's self explanatory you should not uh, be abusing intellectual properties so what do we mean by that we are simply meaning that you should not be uh, you know you should be aware of the copyrights of the any property or any like images or things that you are using of others so you if there is a a copyright for that particular image you should give it relevant copyrights before using it in your content now the content shouldn't be dangerous or derogatory there should not be any animal cruelty you should not misrepresent the content you know for instance you cannot impersonate google products or misuse other companies logos you should not have any unreliable or harmful claims made in the video you should not be using any deceptive practices so if you are using that again your adsense approval will be a pain you should not manipulate the media you should not uh, enable any dishonest behavior like anything that actually points towards you doing any spam with the users or any scam with the users this is highly not recommended now they should not be any sexually explicit content or they should not be any compensated sexual acts mail order rights adult themes child abuse so these are all the things that you should be aware of and uh, i'll recommend that you spend your 5 to 10 minutes before you actually start planning your content and this will ensure that you don't encounter the commonly uh, you know encountered policy violations with that said i am concluding the stage 2 in the next particular video tutorial we'll get started with creating your google ad manager account